Hey, what's up, y'all? What's up? What's up? How y'all doing? This throwback, I'm sure. I'm outside. It's 90 something degrees today, like 99 degrees. It's wildin' out here today. It's wildin', it's wildin'. Which well, yeah, is so um I wanted to do another show. I I was uh I got I wrote up wrote up a lot of stuff, so I was like, ah, I might as well do one. First let me start with shout out to Big Cuz, big big cousin Pete. Big Cuz called me yesterday to drop in with, with some some advice, some not not advice, but some guidance. We talk about different things and stuff. He ain't have much. He was like you stir out your feelings. You you good, man. Fuck what anybody say. Don't shit ain't gonna bother you. Shit ain't gonna affect you. Fuck. Pretty much. Bottom line. He got some other stuff though. We talked about me and Big Pete. We gonna get back to that. This was the crazy shit I wanted to start off with y'all. A man in California changed his name to Vegan. Right. He went to court. He got his name changed to vegan. After he got his name changed to vegan, he started posting pictures or whatever. So they guess they start calling him sexy vegan, sexy vegan, right? That's what they call it, sexy vegan. But then he gets caught online for sexually assaulting his dog. So sexy vegan went to jail for bestiality. That's how I read. Sexy vegan goes to jail for bestiality. Crazy. I don't, people like I, don't, I don't know. I don't get it. People is it's real weird. This one was a good one though, right? So I took a Facebook poll, you know, put a little post up like what's more important to women? Was it money and a job or cheating and trust? So what would they take if they had to choose one one set or order of over the other which one would they choose and everybody was choosing trust and cheating well i think one i think one at the end put down on um, the money but i found it interesting the women would look at that and they would say you know the trust and the cheating but then other men would look at it and say that it's it's more important to have money money in the job because if you don't have money in the job and security or whatever hey, you ain't even gonna get to the love <laughs> you ain't even gonna get to that part you ain't gonna get to the way she trusts you and all that she can't even trust you to keep she keep a job to have a job or whatever so I don't know it's just funny that women would say trust and all that I also was thinking like you go with that dude gonna, gonna lie to you about getting a job and shit. He gonna lie to you about getting a job, be honest and everything else. You can never get right. Okay, here was one. Maybe and, and see this one one maybe um I should hear my my cuz my cousin voice in my in my head and shit, right? What's up, Nate? Alright. So um being called a player and a pimp. For me, a player and a pimp, that, I never was that. I never was that. Yeah, I might have dated and had, had, you know, dated different people at, at a time like I supposed to do. You know what I mean? Until somebody say, oh, I'm in a relationship with you or whatever. If I got three or four people, women I'm seeing, little girl, young women when I was younger or whatever, that shit, is, that's what you're supposed to do. But anyway... Being called a player, a pimp, at, at, you know, for now, like, it, it implies that I got my shit. To me, it come across like I didn't get hit through hard work. I got hit by motherfucking pimping people and motherfucking taking advantage of people and this and this and that. It's not what it is. That's not how I got my shit. You know what I mean? And so people are getting their feelings like if, if I'm talking to a woman and she say she a motherfucking dancer and I ask her if she strip. And she get upset. She got a fucking right to get upset if she a dancer and I ask her if she a fucking stripper. I was saying, like, 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 for real. It's like, yo, you got to be easy with just, I guess, downplaying. You can't really, like, they'll downplay what somebody else did with their life. They'll downplay 
the knowledge or, or the, 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 the professionalism. Like say if, if they say, oh, I'm a, I, I'm an electrician. Oh, I know how to put in, you know, I know how to put, you know, do little light, little stuff around the house, too. I'm electric. No, the fuck you not. This dude is an electrician. You just playing that shit in the crib and you going to blow yourself up one day. It's just like that. We just think that just because we know how to do whatever we on par, you know, I cook at home. I'm a chef. Nah, you not. I, I, that one be killing me. When I say, oh, I like to cook too. What the fuck? You like to cook got to do with being a chef. <laughs> Chefs don't necessarily like to cook. Most of them I encountered did. Right? Yeah. So that was, yeah, that, that's a law. Pete be like, got your feelings. Because Chicago Land Mall guy. Going back to when I be telling y'all about being safe out there, being careful, and watching your surroundings and shit like that. The Chicago Land Mall guy, he drove his SUV through the front doors trying to hit people with it or whatever, right? He actually went to the mall and was doing research. Doing it online, he was going there casing and learned. He was trying to learn the layouts. That's what I'm saying. So if you go to a mall... If you go to a mall or it's a place you like to go, you in the city, whatever, some place, and you like to go there, you need to know how to get out of there. You need to know where to go, how to get out of there, how to maneuver. Because when these people do come and do this stuff, they done planted. it. Most of the time, they not just coming in and like, oh, where well, I'm going to go. They coming in with an with a object, a, a objective, an agenda, a destination. And all of that shit. So you gotta, you gotta, when you outside, you gotta be paying attention, man. It's crazy. You gotta be paying attention. California introduced a bill to let athletes in college hire an agent and earn endorsements um, on commercials and stuff like that. Because before they wouldn't let them do that. You know what I'm saying? They would jeopardize their amateur status. The NCAA would kick them out. So you know they're gonna fight that. The old, the old boys, them, them, them old boys up there ain't letting that shit go down like that. That old money that's been pretty much grinding money off the backs of all kinds of, all, all kinds of athletes. See, you can't even say blacks, but largely blacks, especially in football and basketball. Hey, it's crazy the amount of money they get in all of these coaches and shit that without the players couldn't do nothing. They getting ten. 10 million a year and shit like that. Shusef, look at Shusefsky. It's crazy, man. It's crazy. He pretty much off of college. He's motherfucking a god. Off of basketball god. Off of college. But what about his players? The ones that don't make it. But anyway. Um, CVS Paul Zantac over links to cancer. Cancer causing compound. Right? And then I got, they all, they also, the over-the-counter skin lightening cream. Like you see uh, people from the islands and stuff, they be with the dark right here and they skin be lightened. That skin lightening cream, they say, causes cancer too. It causes cancer, right? Bee attacks. Bee attacks a man in California. He get, ends up with 100 bee stings. And then I turn around and I see 130 dolphins died because they didn't want to go back out in the water. They came up, I forget where it was at, I didn't write where it was at though. They came up into the shallow water and they just stayed there and just was dying, trying to commit, basically commit suicide. So the people was trying to drag the dolphins back out into the water, they came right back to die. All 130 of them died. Nature, nature in, the, um, in, a, in, a, in, in chaos right now. These bugs, they release with the mosquitoes, right? They, the mosquitoes were so bad that they got these generic bugs. I remember about three, four years ago, they released the generic mosquitoes in um, Florida. They released them in Florida. And I'm like, when they released them, they act, my thinking was, they act like the Mosquitoes was just gonna stay there in Florida and die. They wasn't gonna migrate. They wasn't gonna um, breed or nothing like that. So now you got genetic, 
you know, you got fucking DNA enhanced, genetically enhanced mosquitoes floating around. That's why the bites got worse. I'm convinced of that shit, too. Shit they doing. But off of that, Ricky Martin, living la vida loca, living la vida loca, Ricky Martin, you know, and his significant other, Juan Yosef, is expecting child number four. I didn't know they had three. That's first off. And then the thing I'm thinking is, he said it like they pregnant. We pregnant. He said we pregnant during a, a, a an event. Crazy. And so I was looking at the pictures of, he got two boys and a daughter. Two boys and a girl. And I was watching them, looking at the pictures. And I'm looking at the, when they, you know, stop to take a picture and families. None of the kids, they all looking confused in their eyes, looking like, you should have seen it. I said, I only seen like two or three pictures. I said, them kids don't look happy. But whatever. That's just my opinion. My opinion. Ain't hating on nobody. Do what you want to do with your life. They doing way too much nowadays. Yeah, right after that. Another kid in Cali died. Mom's got drunk. In a nearby car, forgot about her kid in the other car. She passed out. Her kid died in the car. Wow, that's crazy. This was one a fact that I did not even. It was not in, who would think it was this bad? And from 2013 to 2017, so we talking a four year span, right? Four year span. Four year span. That four year span. 30,000 kids under the age of 10 have been arrested. Yeah. Yeah, it was five years. So they saying over the last five years. 30,000 and between the ages of 10 and 12, 228,017 been arrested. I'm like, damn, that's almost 250,000 kids. And you know the majority of them is minority you know that we ain't got to go into that part of it you know the majority yeah some whites and some hispanics but we know the majority of them gonna be us during the same time treated like many adults that's how they prepared that's how they prepared them to act yep they 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 start conditioning you with and then they have states with no minimum ages where you could transfer the kids and the try them as an adult they had the six-year-old girl got arrested. Um, she got she she got upset and kicked the staff. Or, you know, kicked the, the... She got arrested for that. Six years old. And so I, I wrote in here. I said, tell them the story of me in high school when I, the teacher said I hit him. All right, so cool. I'm in Western House. This before I got kicked out of Western House. But I'm in Western House. The math, I think it was math. I think it was math or whatever. Um, Cause you know them classes, man, they would them teachers talk down to you, man. Them teachers, man, you be in there, man, and you know what the motherfucker is teaching you and shit, and he's still going in slow motion. Of course anybody gonna get bored in that situation and start doing other shit. I know what you're talking about up there. But anyway, I digress. He talking, he say something to me, and he come. He, call, he, he called me up front and he telling me to leave. And as I'm leaving, he jumps up in my face and proceeds to lecture me and put his hands in my face like this. Get your fucking hands out my face. Smacked his hands out my face. They was going to try to charge me with assault. I said, wow. Yeah, we could charge you with assault, this and this and that. Woo, 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 woo. He had his fucking hand in my face. Talking to me like he my father. After he told me get out the room. I don't care. I think I was well, I was maybe 15 at the time or whatever. I never liked disrespect. I never was good with disrespect. Never was. Or you you would get you would get you you would run into problems quick fucking with me with disrespect. Fat gut bug that causes alcohol to be produced due to fat. 
So I thought that was crazy. So they did a study or whatever, and they they used to think that um they were saying that um basically what they said how they broke it down that shit was a that was like reading a science report. But basically what they said was the fat in your stomach they thought used to burn something else. But because of the fat in there, it burns alcohol. They said it's some some kind of um, it's a drunken. Actually, you could get the dude got auto brewery syndrome, aka drunkenness disease, a bacteria known as Kalipishi Kalipishiella, K L E B S I E L L A. Caliblaslia pneumonia, right? And they said that it's, it's this germ, this bug is in, if you got a gut, this bug is in your gut. Now, they said depending on how big your gut, how active and all of that, this actually releases alcohol in your blood. This bug, this situation, it releases alcohol in your blood and you could actually appear drunk or have a uh, uh, it'll, it'll make it'll throw you off, throw your equilibrium off. This bug, they said, and it could get bad enough where you end up in hospitals, end up in a hospital, sick. But it's treatable with um, they said back um, not back to um, antibiotics. It's treatable with antibiotics. Okay, I got one. Kale is over, y'all. That's the article. Kale is over. Pesticides. Pesticides written veggie. It's in the top top ten list of um least nutritional value. This is one of the top is is it has the least nutritional value of everything. And they said the the I guess the kale people got a little boost in sales when Beyonce did a video or some shit, which I never seen. <laughs> and she had a, a, a shirt with some kale on it or whatever, and that shit. I got my little drawer right there. See, I got my little drawer. That's Beyonce shirt. She dancing and shit. Graphics department is terrible. I know, but um. So yeah, so I don't know, but I never really liked kale anyway. When they was doing, I was I remember I was at Harris Teeter when they was doing the kale salad and. The, the superfood, they was calling it a superfood salad. They tell you, man, you gotta stop believing what they fucking say, man. Look, look oh, it, uh, I was talking to my boy Wright. Shout out to um, uh, Willie Wright the third. Yeah, all the way. Word, you come down, we gonna shoot out, shoot some guns on my property, do some fishing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, he said, starting at 100 and keeping it 100 is up to them. He said, well, I'm fucking start at 100, and that shit go down to 60, 65, 43%. You like, what happened to keeping 100? Mm. So, yeah. Oh, here go one. So, they said they going to change the DNA for avocados, right? So, they said, we decided... the. Uh, Avocado Association, when they, I guess when they had they big, you know, they do the um things where they all get together. So they got they got together and they decided we're going to change the, the avocado's DNA. Because we want avocados that could survive in climates and, and all of this other shit. So once they do that, there won't be no more. If all of the avocados get changed, what's the difference from GMO avocado and the real joint? It ain't going to be one. Because you ain't going to even be able to get the seed no more for the old avocados. Got to watch out for that. And you know why they doing that, right? Because everybody like guacamole, except me. What's that? Animals be out here. I got to watch out. Mr. Squirrel be acting crazy sometime up there playing in my house like he he pay rent in this motherfucker or something. Word. Word. Mr. Squirrel be up in the up in the joint right there taking this little stuff he's throwing in the winter in there whatever. So I don't know. 
Hey, here go one. Asking people to do a show or be involved or whatever. Some of the responses I get. Okay, let's talk logically, right? You somebody that's living a regular ex existence or ain't even really doing too much with your life or whatever, but going to work and all that. No one's really coming to interview you or talk to you or get your opinion on nothing. So if I say come do a show, I'm just saying come hang out, chat for a minute. Have a sip, smoke, whatever the case may be, and you chill out, right? How fuck you gonna get paid for that? I mean, come on. Has be ridiculous. Asking me is it a paying gig like these heads got experience. I'm like, come on, man. Come on. Like, what the fuck? That shit is, that shit is so low-key annoying. And I be trying to respond diplomatic and all this. Like, hey, they like, oh, yeah, what up? Want to hang out, this and this and that. Oh, let's hang out, do a show. Oh, it's paid? I'm getting paid for that? Who the fuck is you? I don't even know if you smart on camera. You might be a dud. Don't say shit on camera. They just come back. Man, I tell you, boy, we are rough on each other, man. We rough on each other. But let me say, yo, I got this check card scheme and shit, man, where we could bang these checks world up. Or I got this shit where we could get in the niggas' accounts and we could order some shit, some dumb shit, we go to jail. Niggas all right there. All right there. It's ridiculous, man. I'm still out here trying to get on with my movie shit. Do a pod, do a web series, do my podcast. Niggas asking to get paid. Get out of here. Fuck out of here. But then, in the same breath, people wonder why they don't have friends no more that they could turn to. You don't have friends because y'all try to get make your friends your, your fucking pay employees, your fucking pay to play friends. That's how friendship is developed. You do nice shit for people. You ain't gonna get paid all the time. Motherfuckers be killing me with that get paid. Like you gotta get paid for your time. Fuck out of here with that. Work. You gotta get paid for your time. It's too many of y'all out there that think like that. Like y'all gonna get paid for doing nothing. Coming to sit down and having a conversation with me is nothing. I can see if I got endorses and all this movie and all this shit. Then I ain't even checking for you. I'm checking for somebody that I gotta pay. Y'all don't make no sense, man. Yeah, I'm preaching. Y'all make no sense. Judge hugging the white cop that killed the brother that was in his apartment that she had to break into to get inside, shot the brother, only get 10, 10 um, years in jail, and the brother of the guy shot out here capping for her. Still today he capped, oh, she needs love and forgiveness. Fuck that bitch. That bitch don't need nothing but to go to jail. Maybe in 15 years we talk to her or something. Right now, fuck out of here. The judge on the... the you handing out that, that fucking softball sentence 10 years and you go hug him? Come on, man. I tell you, man, a disrespect is, is a black man. Let that would have been somebody white. Let that would have been a, 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 a Italian-American. Let that would have... Let that... Man! Golly. Golly, Majibas. Mm-mm-mm. The brother, the day after, because I, I was early on Twitter with that shit. That's the fuck shit we got to deal with. Early on Twitter. So, you know, when you want to turn up the notch, Twitter turns up the notch on people. So the next day you see, oh, catching black backlash on social media outlets and all of that shit. For, as, he, as she should for hugging a motherfucker. Stay neutral. Stay biased. Shit, you ain't never, I ain't never seen no white judge giving no black defendants no hugs. Fuck out of here. That to the side, though. Even if you felt like that, you can't be out in the public doing that. Maybe behind the door you go see him or whatever. That's what you want to do, judge. That's your right. But come on, man. How they say? The optics. The optics for that just look bad. So, okay, get off of that. Trump not getting impeached. 
All right? Trump not getting impeached. He's not getting impeached. He's not getting impeached. But what Trump did do, because the Dems is so freaking dumb, what Trump did do was let that little conversation get leaked so they could go and do what they do and overreact. And so now what did he do? Now he brought that Biden shit out in the front now. Now Biden is out there in the front. If you got to impeach him for just talking about it, you have to go after Biden. What Biden did was wrong. You have to go out there, son, and at least investigate him. So that's what Trump did. Trump brought this shit up, Ukraine. And so, okay, by bringing Ukraine up, let's look at Ukraine. So now, I even seen a day, the new dude over there said he had nothing to do with it in Ukraine. I had nothing, to, I didn't hear from nobody, didn't nobody call me, Giuliani, nobody called me, blah, 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 blah. I didn't even know nothing about it, but now I'm going to look into it. That's what Trump wanted. That's what he wanted. If the Democrats wouldn't have said nothing, they wouldn't have even started this shit. Trump wanted to bring that up because he didn't have nothing to, to keep. This gives him something to make him look better going into the election. The Dems is stupid. They don't never do no strategy. They got to stop thinking that they going to sing we shall overcome as a party and that's going to work. That's not going to work. And now they trying to drag Hillary back out. Like Hillary go somewhere. She like a vampire, man. She's just like a vampire. It's crazy. <coughs> so talking to my my my, my cousin Pete who, who's a Hummer man, Hummer and GMC man. And I think he got charge him. Yeah, so he said, people cry and complain, but don't buy cars, American cars. He said, he said, we supposed to be buying American cars. I wish I would buy a foreign car. He said, he said, by buying foreign cars, you helping over there out. He ain't helping here out. Factories ain't here. He said, well, she would buy a foreign car. But then we started talking about, I said, so you see yourself as an American? His, his response was, you goddamn right. He said, I ain't no African-American neither. I'm an American. Which I agree. I agree with him. But why, why black people? That brought up the thing. I started thinking, like, why don't we see ourselves as an American? Why do we, the, 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 it ain't white Americans, it ain't, um, no, Pete said Caucasian Americans, Cauc Caucasoid Americans, because that's what they would be from the mountains, Caucasoid, Caucasoid Americans and shit, so, uh, <laughs> they don't have that, so why are we African Americans, we should just be Americans too, because some of us were here before, all of us didn't come here by slaves, it's different tribes, just like you have different features, you have some black people and, and they family, they have this kind of nose and they have this kind of shaped head and they, their darker feature, are they this or you have this or that, you have all of these different um, th th tribes, so it wasn't like all of us just came from the same tribe, that's not how it was, so, but why don't we see ourselves as Americans, why don't we? Like, like, you, 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 we, we, we hate ourselves, we hate ourselves, we, we hate, we hate being here in America, we don't want to, uh, look at this as our home, but then where we go? He said, where we go? Where we go? Where we going to go? What's next for us? You know what I'm saying? Africa, they, they ain't going to give us nothing over there. They ain't trying to give us nothing no over Then we go over there, they ain't going to leave us alone. Here go one. He said, mark my words. This is a big peak quote. Mark my words. Kanye West church is all for tax purposes only. <laughs> I said, yo, I told him because I said, yo. I said, yo, Kanye going to mess around and he going to be, you know, because he going the spiritual route. You know, because once you go the spiritual route via Steve Harvey or Allah, Steve Harvey, you know, you, 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 you got that negative energy coming from black people. So you go into the church and you start saying, you know, saying, praising the Lord and all this. And you kind of clean, clean it up, shake people off your back a little bit. Right. So he said, man, 
Oh, I just think, I just think it's um, I think it's all for the taxes, man. He know them taxes, and by doing that, just like Creflo, he could get that, get his ones and twos up, and shit, and he ain't gotta worry about the tax man coming to get him. This the last, this the last. I was watching Bad Boys Two today, right? At the end, when Martin do that roll, he do that roll when they and, and shoot. You Johnny Tapia over Will Smith's shoulder? Bah! I saw, I said, damn. I would have pissed on myself, my partner, shoot that gun. <laughs> the bullet comes whizzing past my ear like this. Oh, my lordy. That was a good shot, though. That was a good shot. But, yeah, so I wanted to come back. You know what I'm saying? Do me a show. Keep, keep, keep them going. Um, I appreciate people watching. I appreciate people negative and positive feedback. Um, I ain't going to promise that I'm going to react the way you want me to react when I hear positive and negative. That being said, I'm going to keep doing what I do. This is Big Shern. Love, and I hope I see y'all soon.